Hey Brick Blogateers, Will here, and today we're looking at set 10323 Pac-Man Arcade. Now when this set came out, um, I was kind of excited. I was like, oh great, uh, there's going to be an arcade machine. And it's $270? And I completely stopped looking at it. So when it came time to ask for review copies, I like, wasn't that arcade thing something? Well, let's see how cool of a, you know, artistic statue piece it is. It's more than that. And it's big. <laughs> so um, the first thing that you will actually build is this top section. And this top section purely just sits on the arcade machine. In fact, it ha it's all, all reverse studs. Um, for the underside. It is more than just a display of Pac-Man, Blinky, and Clyde, but it's also a moving kinetic sculpture. So once Pac-Man gets his power pill, he makes them all worried and they change their look. Now the worried side does have these little worried uh, kind of frown lines for the mouth. Those are actually stickers. As for all the decoration on the front, uh, all the uh, walls and the little Pac-Man and ghosts, those are all printed tiles. So that's, I'm gonna cover all, where all the stickers are because I know people are very curious about that. Uh, also these eyes, they're also printed, but they're nothing special, they're just big eyes. All right, so this you build in the first two bags, then you sit it on top when everything's done. As for the arcade machine itself, the stickers include on the game deck uh, to the left and the right of the joystick, uh, some stickers for uh, Pac-Man's display, as well as the 25 cent sign goes on a clear panel and that's what lights up. You use the back button to light that up. Not sure if it's gonna light up too well with the light shining on the model. As for the signs, this is on a giant 8x16 tile, uh, and it's one giant sticker that's going to be a little hard to put on to make sure not to get the bubbles. Uh, the back actually has a backing, which is very different for most LEGO sets, and uh, we'll talk about more why. Uh, and then you have the same exact sticker on this side, also on an 8x16 piece. Those are all your stickers. Uh, the other sticker uh, that can be seen is the score uh, up at the top. There's actually a couple of stickers in there. So there's a window that has, I believe, a sticker as well as a cylinder. And when I open up the back, we can see the cylinder a little bit better. Uh, that is actually controlled by a gear right here so that if you want to change the score, you can turn it around and hopefully you can see maybe that might help inside that window for the score now the thing that surprised me is all the little characters on here aren't just static symbols because if you notice there is a crank turn the crank and you've got a moving screen now what's moving in here are three elements uh, there is the ghost in the bottom right. That's on its own kind of chain mechanism. Then you have Pac-Man and two of the ghosts. Uh, I believe it's the red Blinky and pink Pinky. Uh, those are on all one chain. And then in the middle you have the orange ghost Clyde, which is kind of going back and forth, and the little cherries below it kind of rocking back and forth. That's the third mechanism. So it's actually a fairly simple set of mechanisms, but put all together uh, makes for an interesting display, especially considering the fact that it's geared so that the uh, Pac-Man, Blinky and Pinky uh, going on the big chain are actually moving a little bit faster than Inky, the blue ghost in the bottom right corner. Now let's take a look at how that is possible. So. You have a knob up here that just hooked into a ball socket and this whole panel comes out revealing a third model which is a mini figure scale 
little display. Now this has your last bit of stickers on this arcade machine. Uh, there's a sticker in the front, the screen, as well as the sides of the model. Oh, uh, for the big model, the where it says Pac-Man up at the top, that's printed. We'll look at that one more time. Um, that is the last of the stickers for the entire model. So it'll have the girl, the a trash can, a stool that you can pull up to sit down and play, and then a bubblegum machine. Now, looking at the interior guts of the machine, you can actually see where the mechanisms are. So, of course, the gears are located on the your left side of the screen. That just connects into the crank. Uh, the horizontal bar shaft has two gears off of it, which operates two additional gears. The gear that it operates on the right side is what controls the Pac-Man, Blinky, and Pinky. The right gear operates a bigger gear, which means it will slow down the next gear that's below it at the bottom. That's what controls the Blue Ghost, Inky. Now from this crank going straight up to the, with this link uh, is the crank that allows it to just go up and down. And up at the top is what moves Cly, the orange ghost, and the cherries back and forth. Uh, so from my side where they're actually being operated is simply a vertical bar that just moves left and right with it connecting to this bottom gear being the bottom of the vertical bar making Clyde move more than the, the cherries. Now the whole reason why you have the backing is because if you can actually see through the model, it actually starts exposing some of the interior mechanisms of the uh, workings of the model. And one of the reasons why they did that is because they wanted to shadow it all. So it's like behind the scenes and it all just kind of obscures into the background, kind of like you're watching a play. Uh, so that was pretty ingenious uh, in terms of something they don't normally add, um, but it's nice to see it here and that they went that extra step. And putting it all back together, you can put, uh, just slot it in place. And they, they, oh, forgot to mention, this is all printed. So you don't have to worry about stickering. Uh, these are actually fairly large slope um, ramps. Uh, so you just have to get them in the right order. But the top of the model has this panel to ne help nestle this por portion into the back and then make sure that it all lines up well. And these slopes then help it from sliding off the top of the arcade machine. Like so. So for $270, this is surprisingly robust. Uh, it has a number of interesting techniques that I talk about in the article, like how they tab some of the uh, brackets up the side to help give additional stability. Um, just how the mechanisms work with the whole back black uh, backing. And you practically are getting like three models all rolled into one. So if any of that interests you, this is a great display piece. I know it's not for everyone because of the price and the size, but again, I definitely recommend the Pac-Man Arcade.